German automotive parts manufacturer Mahler have been working on a new project. They claim to have developed the perfect electric motor. It can be run continuously at extremely high powers and doesn't use any rare earth metals in the form of permanent magnets. It's an interesting design that combines technologies from many different existing motors and power electronic systems to do something pretty unique. So let's see how it's done and how it could transform the automotive industry. I'm Ryan Innes and this is a Xerox Deep Dive. Electric motors are fundamental to sustainable transport, so this development from Mahler is definitely worth our attention. I respect your time, so here's a system overview first, and if you think it's interesting, you can continue watching to truly understand how it works and how it performs. The Mahler Perfect Motor, which they have even put in quotation marks in their press releases, refers to a combination of motor technologies that Mahler have previously developed. It is a synchronous motor that uses wireless power transmission to power electromagnets that are in the spinning rotor in the middle. This allows it to operate like a permanent magnet motor, except you can control the magnet's strength and don't have any slip rings that can wear out. It also uses advanced oil cooling to keep the motor cool during high power operation. This is a really clever piece of engineering, so let's get into the technical details. It might be useful here to briefly recap on the fact that electric motors work by generating a rotating magnetic field. Then the magnets that are in the rotating rotor, which can be permanent magnets or electromagnets, spin around to follow this rotating magnetic field. The first important question to quickly cover is, why do we even care about magnet-free motors? Permanent magnet-free motors come with a range of benefits, starting with lower costs since they don't rely on expensive rare earth materials. It also helps improve supply chain stability by reducing dependency on limited global sources. They're also better for the environment as they avoid the potentially harmful mining and processing of rare earth elements. Another big plus is their reliability in high temperatures since they don't suffer from demagnetization, which happens to permanent magnets if they get too hot. And finally, they're easier to recycle, making them a more sustainable choice in the long run. The Mahler motor is essentially an externally excited synchronous motor. This means the magnet in the spinning rotor spins at the same speed as the rotating magnetic field. And that these magnets are electromagnets powered or excited from an external source. Now externally excited synchronous motors get their power to the rotor via slip rings, which are a set of metal rings mounted onto the rotor shaft with carbon brushes that maintain contact to transfer electricity without getting any wires tangled or twisted. This allows the motor to work like a normal permanent magnet motor, but instead of the permanent magnets, it has electromagnets. When alternating current is applied to the stationary stator windings, the rotating magnetic field is generated. The rotor, which is now an electromagnet, locks into the rotating field and rotates at the same speed in synchrony. Now, this all seems well and good. We essentially have a permanent magnet electric motor with all of its benefits in power and efficiency, but without the rare earth metals. However, the slip ring used to get power to the spinning rotor is a problem as it has a tendency to wear out. And this is where the wireless power transmission comes in. From electric vehicles to mobile phones, electromagnetic induction can be used to transfer power wirelessly between two coils, making it possible to charge our devices without cables. In the case of wireless phone charging, the charging pad contains a coil that receives electrical current, creating a changing magnetic field around it. Inside the phone, there is a receiver coil that captures this magnetic field and converts it back into electricity, which is then used to charge the battery. This process allows power to be transferred without physical connections, making charging more convenient. With that in mind, we can start to understand the clever engineering inside the Mahler motor. But before looking at that and comparing its performance, I have to quickly thank Delete Me for sponsoring this section of the video. 
Delete Me is an automated subscription service that will remove your personal information from hundreds of online data brokers. After signing up and setting up your account, their privacy experts will start finding and removing your information from places you don't want it to be. I've been using them for over six months now and they've recently released my fourth report. They've reviewed nearly 5,000 listings and found seven brokers that were holding my information. This included my name, address, and even my phone number. They provide customized reports every two months, and when I looked through mine, I realized it wasn't only my personal data that had been found, but my family's too. Delete Me will now continue to act on my behalf, removing data from online data brokers as it inevitably continues to end up online. And in case I have any questions or want to make a custom removal request, I have a privacy advisor that I can contact. So if you care about your data and your family's privacy online, you can get 20% off of Delete Me using my code Xeroth. Or use my link joindeleteme.com slash Xeroth, which is also available down in the description. Okay, now back to the clever engineering of the Marla motor. I actually saw a mock-up of the motor at CES, which is a trade show I was at recently. And you can see in this clip one of the key components of the system. The inductive charging section replaces the slip ring of a conventional, externally excited synchronous motor, enabling power to be wirelessly sent to the spinning rotor, just like a beefed up version of the phone charger example. This elegantly solves the durability issues with slip rings. Unlike permanent magnet motors, this means the strength of the magnets in the rotor can be controlled so they are optimized for different operating conditions. The observant among you may be wondering how this is really much different from an induction motor, which seems to do this already by inductively sending power from the stator to the rotor as it operates. This would therefore remove the need for this wireless power converter attached to the motor. Whilst this is kind of true, induction motors are pretty inefficient at transferring this electricity from inside to outside the motor, and the amount of energy transferred is also pretty difficult to control. Because Amala has complete control over the magnet strength, and how the power is transferred to the rotor, it can do it much more efficiently and at a higher power. For a while I couldn't help but think that it seemed really efficient to have to charge an electromagnet in the middle instead of permanent magnets, like you have in a permanent magnet machine. However, it is actually more efficient than you'd think to have an electromagnet in the middle. This is partly because even if you just have permanent magnets, which seem to operate on their own, the issue is, as you spin them, they cause losses in the rest of the motor, so it balances itself all out. There's a lot of detail in electric motor design to explain all of that, but suffice to say, it's not as crazy as it first sounds. Okay, now before looking at the performance of the Marla motor, it's worth quickly paying some attention to the cooling system that they took from a previous motor project. The aim of that project was to allow the motor to run at nearly maximum power and torque for extremely long periods of time without overheating. They achieved this through innovative oil cooling, which appears to send oil into the rotor and spin it outwards towards the stator. The oil can then flow around the stator windings, cooling them down and eventually draining out, taking the heat with it. This warm oil is then available for use to heat other parts of the vehicle, like the cabin. Direct oil cooling is great because it does exactly that, directly cools the warm copper windings. It can do this because it is dielectric and therefore doesn't conduct electricity. I've seen this direct oil cooling in other motors, like the one developed by Lucid Motors. However, that's only ever in the stator, so this is a cool development. The performance of the new Marla motor is of course very important, so let's see how it stacks up. The exact power and torque ratings will depend on the application, but with torques of going into large trucks, I imagine they'll go up into the 3 to 400 kilowatt range. What I think is more interesting though is power density and efficiency. Marla claimed to reach efficiencies over 95%, which is in line with current permanent magnet motors and much higher than the 85% or so from conventional induction motors. There aren't exact details on the power density available, but based on other externally excited synchronous motors that use slip rings, it will likely be slightly lower than permanent magnet motors, 
but still probably double that of the standard induction motors, due to the advanced cooling system. This means trucks driving up long mountain passes wouldn't have issues with overheating. I think this is a really exciting design that could have real positive benefits to the automotive industry. The summary of the system is that by using wireless power transfer, an electric motor with copper windings on the rotor can operate like, and compete with, permanent magnet motors, without the use of so many important rare earth metals. There is also an added benefit that the strength of the electromagnets on the rotor can be controlled to improve overall performance and efficiency. Thanks for watching, if you've enjoyed this video please consider subscribing, it's free and helps out the channel a lot. You might also like some of my other videos like this one on how NASA reinvented the mechanical battery. Don't forget to check out Delete Me down below and as always, thanks for watching.